We talk a lot about what was going on in each of the warring countries in our regular episodes, but there are also nations without borders that we should also look at to see their contributions and their sufferings. One such nation is the huge expanse of Poland. I'm Indy Nidell. Welcome to a Great War special episode about Poland in the First World War. Poland has a rich and complicated history, often sandwiched between powerful and aggressive neighbors it has, over the past millennium, defended its sovereignty on innumerable occasions only to again be overrun and subjugated by foreign powers. Now, Poland did not exist as a sovereign state during World War I, being part of three other empires, the Russian, German, and Austro-Hungarian. Poles consequently had the distinction of serving in all three of those armies, and it was often a case of Pole versus Pole. If you look at the campaigns of the Eastern Front, though, a large part of them were fought on Polish lands, with the resultant destruction of civilian property and the deaths of countless Polish civilians. Realize that when the war broke out, Russia advanced into big chunks of Galicia and East Prussia, Within a year, though, it was the Germans and Austrians who had pushed into these lands and beyond, into Lithuania and most of Russian Poland. So you get the question. If three armies are fighting back and forth across your land, with your people caught in the crossfire again and again, what's a Polish patriot to do? Well, if you were Joseph Pilsudski, the leader of the Galician Rifleman when the war broke out, you believed that Poles should play an active role in the war if they wanted it to lead to independence. The problem there was where? Vladislav Sikorski and the Supreme National Committee formed three Polish legions of volunteers that fought as units within the Austro-Hungarian army. Their task was to liberate their homeland, Russian-occupied Galicia. But on the Russian side, another Polish National Committee was formed with the same but opposite purpose. So while everybody wanted independence, no one was really certain whom it was going to be from. In 1916, in an effort to win Polish loyalty, Germany and Austria agreed to establish a Kingdom of Poland, and on November 5th, the Two Kaisers Proclamation created a hereditary Polish monarchy with a constitution. It did not, however, have a government, nor did it have defined borders, though it did have a state bank and issued currency. Two months later, a provisional state council was established with Pilsudski as a member, but the Entente powers pretty much regarded this as a puppet government for the Central Powers. Pilsudski had by this time stopped working with the provisional government the Central Powers supported, and had been arrested. In October 1917, a regular government was formed in Poland, and independence was becoming a possibility. But it wasn't until the armistice that a Polish Republic comprising Western Galicia and Russian Poland became a reality, with Joseph Pilsudski head of state and commander-in-chief of the armed forces. It's not for this show to talk about what happened after that, so I'll leave that there. This was just a short special to fill in some of the gaps that we have to leave in our regular episodes. And I thought Poland deserved a shout out, being in such an unfortunate position throughout the war. So, to the Polish soldiers who fought at Gombinen, Tannenberg, the Masurian Lakes, the Warsaw Offensive, and all of the battles from 1915 onward that we have yet to cover, and in whatever army's uniform you fought them in, Here's a salute to you and your struggle for an independent Poland against the shifting, treacherous, and above all, deadly background of modern war. If you want to find out more about Joseph Pilsudski, you can check out our episode from week 11, a time when the generals started to realize that this war might not be over by Christmas as they thought, and where heavy fighting took place in the area that today is modern Poland. You can see that episode right here. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. See you Thursday.